What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fathom, man, Eric Sheetaber. We are going to be talking through this weekend's golf slate. Haven't done a golf show with you in a little while, and uh, we haven't had some some best tournaments. And then I, I missed the last week, which is good because I don't think I would have won. Who won the tournament last week, Sheets? Yeah, so I want to talk to you about last week. Um, so Kenny and I did it, and, and, and there's a couple couple of things I want to want to re- recap. First of all. Uh, you should never, never screenshot or brag after after round one. Okay. But Kenny it was, was all over Jason Day in the preview video. Yeah. Like, it was his best play of the tier, like best play of the day. And of course, he had the lead by like four strokes after round one. Mm-hmm. And he came right on in. He's like, oh, don't mind my Jason Day call at all. And I think he made 80, 85. You know, oh, my he, God. He, he didn't make the cut? No, 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 no. He, he, no, he did fine. He got 15 after all. Oh, okay. But, uh, and the other thing is, is nobody has any right ever to complain if they play Paul Casey. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another time you missed it. He withdrew again after the tournament started. Well, especially right now. I mean, that guy is clearly trying to play through something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm with you on that. But, but the yeah. point is, it's like, you, you know, that it's in the, it's in the offing now. And, and, and yet still, you know what I mean? Um, it's, uh, you know, so you only have to, yourself to blame if you play guys like that. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to move on to, to this one. All right, let's do it. Um, let's start talking about, is there any overall thoughts you have about the course or anything like that? Or that we're just going to... No, learn? not really. I mean, there's some people are you obviously using this as a tune-up, I guess, for the for the whatever, for the PGA Championship. And some people are skipping this. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I like to, I think the top looks pretty good. I like some stuff kind of uh, lower also. I kind of I kind of like this card. I have like four or five guys I want to highlight and um, just uh, just kind of a normal type of slate for me. All right. Well, let's get into it. Um, let's go by tier. And then uh, why don't you start us off with the uh, with the high end and let us know, you know, sort of. Uh, I mean, I, did Sheffler did Sheffler play last week? No. Um, so we just have a guy who never loses tournaments. So what are we going to do here? Sheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so of the four guys uh, in the, in the, in the 10 K range, I do like the top two. Um, I like Scheffler and I like JT. Uh, I don't like the other two. Um, so that, that's, I mean, when I, you know, you, you know what I mean? When I say I don't like them mm-hmm. right? on this slate. I, I prefer, I, I, I would rather get to Scheffler and Thomas than, than, uh, than DJ or Spieth. Um, they're both going to be 20% plus owned. Um, but like you said, um, Scheffler just, Never loses, never misses a fairway, never misses a green, never misses a hole. So it's uh, kind of tough to fade him. Uh, you can, obviously. I mean, there's, there's ways to play without playing him. And JT, you know, he's he's uh, he's waiting for me to be really, really strong also. So I do feel as though I'm going to have at least one of those in all my lineups, um, or at least most of them. I don't really have the, the greatest of faith in, like, that 9K range this week. Um, I have a couple of guys, but, but usually – just the way I've been looking at my stuff is there's usually a nine K guy that like stands out. You know what I mean? It's an like awesome play where I can say, Oh, I'm fading the, the, the 10, 11 K guys easy. Like last week, that's what I did. I faded Rory and like pretty much everything up top and, and was able to make a confident middling lineup. It didn't really work out, but whatever this, and this card, I think that I might want to play one of these two guys. Yeah. I'm kind of with you on that. Um, I, I, I like both these guys. I, I'll mix in Dustin Johnson just because of the lack of ownership. Yeah. And, um, there, you know, I, I do have some guys in the nine K that I like a little bit better actually than, than maybe you do. So yeah, I, I, Jordan Spieth is going to be owned and there's some logic and reasons behind it. I, I'll avoid it myself personally. Um, he won, you know, the, in the, in the, the semi weaker field and, and, and played well, finally. And, 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 you know, look, he's fine, but if he's going to be really similarly owned to Scheffler or Justin Thomas, yeah. I'm not going to touch that. And I don't, I don't even buy that. That's what I, it'll probably, it might happen. And I don't actually, I don't even know what tier it happens. And I just think it's weird for him to be as owned as those guys. They're clearly better golfers than him. They don't even need to play their best to, to, to beat him. And uh, I would, I would be with you and lean. For, uh, I would go Scheffler one JT two in this, in this range. Um, but I, and again, I might mix in a DJ, but I don't think that I want any speed. What All about right. in the nine Ks? I know you yeah. Don't like so him. for me, my like my, my top guy, I guess I guess is Shawplay, I suppose. Um, and then you got Sam Burns, who's looking like twenty five percent ownership. I, I can't imagine doing that. And then 
Zalatoris, 20, 25%. I can't imagine doing that either. If, if there's anything I would play, I would play the two. I would play maybe Neiman um, at 93. And I might, uh, listen, I'm going to steal your thunder, uh, probably, but nobody ever plays Hideki regardless of what his ownership projection shows. He's gonna, if people are going to play him, nobody ever plays him. So yep. I'm, I'm looking at a 14% ownership. He's got, he's going to be single digits. That's, that's my, that's my opinion. And you and listen, I'm probably on board with you on this one nowadays. You know, I, I never would play him. And every time I see him either in contention or for, I'm like, why don't I have him at four percent? It was not gonna right. be four percent this week, but but I, he's, I promise you, I can't promise, him, but he's probably gonna be lower than fifteen. Um, yeah. And so I, I would I would say screw the projections and go down to a decade at lower ownership in this race. Yeah, I, so I, I actually do. I, I'll probably be skipping Xander. Um, I, I just I, I feel like we, we, we might we might be we might be overrating Xander as in yeah. terms of new golf. I mean, all of these other guys like Zalatoris. I mean, I understand the ownership is the problem we have to worry about with Zalatoris yeah. and Sam Burns, but I I mean they they do stand out along with Neiman, and uh, and then other than that, I will I will be playing Hideki and I will be playing Fleetwood. I, oh, I, there you go. I forgot I'm, about him. I'm never skip. I'm just not skipping on this Fleetwood thing. I don't understand it. He should be cheaper though, don't you think? No. He's, no, he literally no. comes in the, all he, his worst finish is like 22nd okay. this year. Like he, he, all he does is he was top 10 and he was 10th in the last tournament he played. Um, I, I think he's, a, I mean, when I look at the guys beneath him, I don't know who I'm, who, who am I, I'm going to say is a better golfer than he I is. Guess so. I guess so. He's consistent and he may not have the big win, but I, I still think that there's a good chance that it comes at some point. And I don't think you need this guy to win either. He's a nine K. Yeah, like I said, is he, is he that much? Is he not better than, Johnny Vegas, you know what I mean? And, and uh, yeah, he, he's significantly better than Adam guys. Scott nowadays, you know, like, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. So, I, so, I, so Fleetwood is probably the one I'm, I'm, I'm overweight the field on the most in this range. Although I have a feeling that even Fleetwood will get a little bit of love because he's been so consistent and because Brooks withdrew. So I do think this is going to be a pretty high owned range and uh, it's, I, I might mix in these guys, but it is, you know, again, if you start your lineups as Sam Burns and Zalatoris, you better be doing something different elsewhere because those guys are going to be like 25 to 35 percent owned i mean it's going to be really really crazy especially in single entries with zalatoris i'm actually surprised burns is projecting to be higher owned than, than zalatoris i feel like zalatoris is like i don't know but um but, I, but i'm just I'm, I'm happy to go to neiman as well um i i think neiman and fleetwood would be the guys i end up with the most of just because of ownership maybe a little bit of a decky as you were as you were talking about and and you know what it's, it is kind of it's kind of weird to, to think that people are going to play Spieth more than Hideki just to me, just because, like, I know he won, he won a tournament, okay? Finally, he won a tournament. I mean, Hideki is, is, is consistently contends all the time. Spieth has been awful. I, I don't know. I just I think it's weird to me so that at a higher price, people are going to play more Spieth than Hideki. Um, all right, let's uh, talk about the AK range. Uh, what do you got for me here? What, what, are, what are the guys at the 8K range? Uh, what uh, what's, uh, Kenny and I both were on as a really good low home play last week. And he did really, really well, actually, was uh, was, was Jonathan Vegas. I mean, I've been playing him, I got, you know, a lot, a lot recently. And uh, it was also in a course that was completely terrible for him, you know? And we just figured that, you know, who cares? That's why he's going to be like 3 4%. And he was great. I mean, he was like the only, one of the only players that could do anything in those conditions on, Friday, on Saturday and Sunday. He was, he was terrific. He's playing really, really well. He's, he doesn't rate for me as the top guy, but I just figured I, I would bring that up. The guys that rate to the top guy are just about freaking model darlings every week, and that's Gooch and, and Aaron Wise. I mean, bo both these guys always show up as great plays, and they always get owned twice as much as they probably should. Um, and so I'll just, I'll just, I guess I'll leave it at that. I mean, Gooch, Gooch, Gooch does look like a really strong play, as does Aaron Wise, and they're both going to get owned. Um, so if you want to play anybody in this range, I would probably, but then I'm down to even Hadwins looks like 15, 20%. So I don't, I don't know what to do here. Maybe, maybe Vegas is the idea. Maybe people will forget about him somehow. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I, I, I'm straight, you know, numbers or whatever. I do think Gucci and Wise are both, Wise are both very solid. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, to ignore the last two tournaments and I'm going to play some Adam Scott. Um, oh, let's go. I, there's 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 a way to get a little different right there and yep. that's what that's that's what I, I i i you know i like the wise idea i i feel like vegas and and wise i don't know for some reason it feels like there there's enough of a bus path for me to fade 
a guy who I've come along on and uh, just been really impressed with. And I, I told Kenny that I, that was like, you know, when, when the masters came around, I was like, you know, the, the weird thing that I just have this feeling about cam champ because of the wide fairways and how far uh. he hit it and all that stuff. Um, but I just, just wanted to mention him at low ownership. I think that realistically, I'm probably going to end up with a good amount of Scott Gooch and, uh, uh, the one the one I'm sort of fiddling with is the is the Kokrak. I don't know what I want to do with Kokrak. I know Kenny would would say Jason Day, so I'll say it in his in his stead, his steed, whatever you say it, however you say it. Right, right. Um, I, I I'm on the. I think I would go Kokrak and uh, Scott for, for ownership, and then I do like Gooch, who's going to be pretty chalky. Uh, he'd be my favorite of the chalky guys in this range. I think it was also last. So so as we go into the the seven K range. Um, last week, it was really funny. We had, um, uh, you know, Kenny and I did the same contest as normal. And we, we re re really went after each other. Like, I, I think my top nine guy was the guy, 9K guy was the guy he picked to miss the cut. And I think his top oh, nine nice. guy was the guy I picked to miss the cut. And then I, I think I think that one of the contention one was, was Leishman. I had him to miss the cut, and he had him doing really well. And after the first round, he was at a 68. I'm like, God, and then he got to make 75 and missed the cut. So... <laughs> so um, I, as usual, I really like the 7k range. Um, and I got one, I'll give you my top, my top three and, and look, it's all, I'll give you four actually, but like what's in a name. Okay. So my top three guys ready. How, how can you not play guys with these names? I want power, right? So yeah, Seamus I power. I want general, right? So Pat and desire. So I got power. I got general. <laughs> and then, and and then that's, I guess that was the end of the end of that narrative. Um, oh, and Maverick. How, how good is that? You know, yeah, so you yeah, got yeah, Maverick, yeah. Power, and General. Those are my top three. Um, and then after that, my next two are going to be Keith Mitchell and Siwoo Kim. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I, I, I like a lot of what, a lot of that. I, I do like McNeely. It does seem like a good, like, fit for him. I, it's a little disturbing the ownership, but yeah, he's chalky for sure. Yeah, um, and and I and I'm I, I'm totally on board with the, the power and Norin ideas. I just not oh Norin, I didn't bring him up. You like Norin? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think Norin's a solid play. The problem is just again another guy who's going to get some ownership. Right. Um, and I think that he, I just think he's like we've seen enough out of him that he's consistently you know right in there. And I don't know. I just feel like he gets a little bit overlooked. I think that his price could easily be you know a thousand higher and, and it wouldn't be all that shocking to me. Um, I kind of want to just keep an eye on Davis Riley going forward. I, I do like this guy a lot and I think that he's really talented. Um, I ended up watching a lot of his golf uh, that one, one week he finished second. Um, I love Pereira at low ownership. I like that. I'm just going to keep doing it with the Chilean guy. Like, I, I don't know why all of it. It's like, this guy's always chalky. And then all of a sudden he's just not. And I don't, I don't really know why I know they withdrew from the team competition, but I, I think Pereira is a, a really, really solid play at 7,600. And uh, I, I like Pereira. I really like uh, Siwoo. And I, those will be probably the highest owned above 7,500 for me. And then of course, I'm, I'm always going to mention the general. Yeah. Um, what's weird is Matt Wolf is sort of projecting better than he normally does. And he never projects well. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm missing something on this sheets. Is there anything that, I mean, are you, I don't I, have him. I, I don't I've have got him, him with, with ownership, which is just a little, little surprising to me, but I, I, on the low end, I really do like, uh, Kazire and Thigala are going to be my guys and they sort of always are my guys. And, uh, the one other really low owned one, it will be Carlos Ortiz. If you play Scheffler and Thomas, that leaves you 7,100 a person. So you probably, if you want to do that, you're going to need something in the 7K range. Not that so you have to play that way. But but in the 6K range, you like anything at all down there? So there's the guys who I'm considering. Wyndham Clark, uh, Stephen Yeager, I do like. I want to sort of stay consistent with my my take on on that. I think that this guy ends up you know, putting some things together. The, the guys who do well in the Corn Ferry Tour. Um I think Doc Redman is uh, mildly interesting. Uh, Lebiota, mildly interesting. Hudson Swafford, mildly interesting. Not not excited about any of these. The one that I can start getting behind is I'll go back to my Smotherman guy. Um, I don't mm -hmm. mind that one. And uh, he's got a real cheap price tag. Uh, Adam Shank, mildly 
And then I'm going to go back to Svensson, but I think Sm- Sm- I know Svensson was really awful for me and, and, and cost me a couple of weeks back when uh, last tournament I was, I had a pretty good, uh, he was my fight. He was my six, but I would have a good five or six going, but I, I can go back to Svensson here. And last one of, of uh, get weird ones is going to be Kramer Hickok. All right. So I'm, I got, I got two totally get weird, like no chance to ever make the cut guys, but I'll give those to you in a second. Um, the actual plays, um, I guess if I had to, I would say Hubbard, I suppose. Um, good thing is none of these guys are getting any origin. No one's no one's getting down to these guys. Um, right. I, I, the next guy I have ranked is Swatford, and and you mentioned him, Danny Willett. You know, you could you could shuffle pretty much. Smotherman I have is like not the worst, like you like you mentioned. Um, but so here are two guys. Now again, this is total bias, all right? But um, when I, when I played the, um, was it the team tournament? not the team, but yeah, the team tournament. And I ended up, remember that, that tournament where I literally had no chance to lose. Right. And then I lost somehow. Remember I was in first place by like a hundred points or whatever it is. Yeah. One of the, was the reason, one of the reasons why I was like the only person to get six for six and, and these, this team did it for me and I had them at like minimum cost and they were, they were just awesome until they finally collapsed. So I'm going to probably play a little bit of both these guys together, uh, both these guys when I ever need a real cheapo. David Skins, S K I N N S. Yeah, yeah. No. And his partner was Josh Creel, C R E E L. So, so, hey, they, they had a little bit of success in a tournament against real golfers. Uh, so that's 6K and 6,100. Uh, listen, in, in lineups where I need something like that, they're just they're the same to me as all these other guys down there. So, okay. so I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot. Okay. That makes sense. I, I think that also, again, if you were talking about other get weird ones that Harry Higgs and Joseph Bramlett. Yeah. Should we maybe like give Harry Higgs a little bit more respect than we do? I mean, I don't know. Like he, he's, he's, he's had, he's had a few moments there and obviously he's a little streaky, but I mean, I don't know if it's just maybe my bias because he's fun to root for, but he did have two, you know, he, he was really bad the last couple of times out. Um, actually, actually played really well on, on, on Thursday and then had some weather issues both of the last tournaments uh, that he did play. And he finished 14th at the Masters before that. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I just I just I'm just open to, to Harry Higgs and Bramlett at, you know, less than zero ownership. And, and why wouldn't we consider these guys that never get played? And so I'm always a sucker for, for a little bit of that. But let's play the game. Let's go through the tiers and talk about our favorite uh, our favorite plays. And, and who's going to she who you got to win it? Mm. I know what you're gonna say. Oh, just for funsies, I'll go Justin Thomas. And that's, I'll take Scheffler, but I I'm very close to considering Hideki as a I was considering oh, like that. for a minute. But uh, I do I do think that it almost feels stupid. Like we're just trying to find reasons not to like Scheffler. <laughs> like at this point, it's top five nine k. Top five nine k. Um, I'm gonna go. I I do think Zalatoris is probably the the correct answer, but I'm gonna say Joaquin Neiman for me. As was I. I, I was holding Ooh. that one. That was okay. So Neiman's in. That was interesting. I was going to say, say goodbye, Raquel, and, and throw Neiman <laughs> right in there. So instead, to to go, go along with the uh, with the, uh, the nickname thing, I would go Sam, Sam, the discount man. Go Sam Burns at ninety five hundred to be. Oh, top you, went, you went for the the, the chalk guy. You snuck. You snuck I did. Him. I did. It was getting well. Okay. I could have done I chalk Sander. I could have done chalk Sander. I mean, like that's true. Man. That's true. That's true. Um, I like, I like Burns as well too this week. Um, all right. The, uh, the 8k range sheets, who's going to come in the top 10? Yeah. I don't like this um, range. Yeah. So I'm going to, unfortunately, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go chalk. I was going to go Gooch, but, but I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the, I'll give Vegas another, another, another week. I'll roll with him. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go Gooch. Okay. Um, for what it's worth, I do think Vegas ends up about the same on as Gooch this week. That's my guess. I have Vegas about 13% and Gooch about 16. So I have it about the same. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Um, all right, 7K range to top 20. Well, who's well, who's got the who's got the coolest name? Um, all right. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna power. Oh, I'm I like it. Power. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think he's gonna be popular. So I, I like that no. call. Um I, I kind of want to, I, I, you know, it's not, it's not like we love Siwoo on, on, on PTI courses and this is not Ooh. the situation, but I do think Siwoo at low ownership like is that. just a little too good of a, a little, I, I'm stuck between Siwoo and Mito. Um, 
I guess because good. I already took, you know what? I already took one Chilean. I may as well take both of them. I'm going to go with Mido. What about under 7K to make the cut? Under 7K to make the cut. I am going to say, uh, I'm going to say Svensson, actually. I, I, Svensson with a shout out to Jaeger. And you're not going to say these guys anyway and Smotherman. So that, those are my favorite. I, I was thinking about Smotherman, actually. Okay. Him, just because he's always seems to be doing something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I'll go. I'll go with the my. I'll just go with my highest rated guy. I'll go with Hubbard. Okay, nice. Um, all right. So that's oh, wait, wait. Oh, what about about nine K or higher to miss the cut? Oh, nine K or higher to miss the cut. Um, it's tough. Brooks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say ugh, I don't feel good about any of them. I I know that everybody else would say Fleetwood. I don't agree with that. So I'm gonna say. I'm going to say speed, man. We are, we are, we are in freaking lot mode right now. You got the speed as well. That's who I was going to pick. That's okay. awesome. We are yeah. in, so now we know he's going to win. Okay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so so we're in lot mode. So, so I am going to go with something equally unlikely to happen and I will go, boy, how cool would this be if I could actually get this to work, but I will go Xander to miss the cut. Xander to miss the cut. Okay, I love that. And I think he hasn't missed the cut since the freaking Xander administration. So no, I think I, nobody did it. He did a few weeks back, a few tournaments ago. I probably when I had 80% of them. Yeah, I think yeah. that's possible. Actually. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, guys. Let's get back on. Well, and one of the reasons why, by the way, I mean, listen, not that he would do this, but there are, there are some guys that, that might not be bringing their 100% focus to this because of the PGA Championship next week, you know? And, and like DJ might, well, actually DJ, his, 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 he doesn't think so much. He just, he don't even, I don't think he knows where he is half the time. He's just playing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't think yeah. he's thinking like that. Um, yeah, but I, I was thinking about that too. And I was trying to figure out who those guys might be. I could see that, uh, that argument for maybe Matsuyama, maybe Hideki could be like that, but Xander sort of needs to bounce back because he hasn't been himself this year. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you who, who I'm getting drawn to. Just in general, based on what you were saying, if listen, Taylor Gooch is going to be really popular, I think, at eighty six hundred, and I think all these guys, like you said, Vegas. I don't think that anybody is going to play Fleetwood, and 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 I, he's four hundred more than all those guys. He's got that nine handle in front of him, right? I know what people are going to say. That listen, well, I'm going to play him. Why don't I just play Neiman or these other guys? You know. And, and, and I think that he is going to be the low on guy that's even lower than is being projected. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm with you on this one. All right. I love that. Um, yeah. All right. So let's, let's get, make some money with some Fleetwood this week. Yeah, let's go. All right. Well, good luck to everybody this week. And uh, we will uh, hopefully see you at the top of the leaderboards. Hey, and I will tell you between we got a power and a maverick and a general Dude, Fleetwood's pretty, pretty quick. You know what I mean? That's pretty good too. <laughs> We need to get the one the one more dad joke before we get out of here, guys. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to everybody, and we'll see you at the top of the leaderboards. Good luck. All right, later.